Hello and welcome back to Quantum Law UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video we are going to be looking at the second coin in the James Bond series. And here it is in all its glory. Now I've always been a big fan of James Bond so getting these coins was always going to be on the cards. Now I am a bit late in getting these reviewed but I've just been so busy and they've been sat on the shelf for ages. I'm just a bit of an OCD maniac and uh, yeah, I've got to do a review on everything that I buy. You know the drill by now, it's uh, it's awesome stuff. And uh, let's let's have a look at this coin then, shall we? So, we've got this nice silver packaging and we've got Pay Attention 007. And again, number two, and it's a £5 brilliant uncirculated coin. And on there, again, we've got Pay Attention 007 and we've got the uh, Lotus, I think it's a Lotus, can't remember the second name lotus something but of course it is an underwater car it turns into a submarine as it jumps off the pier and just in the background there we've got zero and the seven obviously all three coins will eventually make up this the 007 so very nice so there's the reverse and let's have a look at the obverse of the coin we'll do that in a minute because uh, it's a five pound bunk pack and uh, yeah i'm not used to it not being on show so of course we've got the denomination five pounds and the other details just there and of course with the obverse designer Jody Clark and the reverse designers Matt Dent and Christian Davies so yeah let's do the normal thing as we always do on these videos let's grab this out of its packaging and let's have a further look at the coin and all the information inside really nice really nice oh we can see little bubbles just there as well yeah let's get this out of its packaging Okay, so here we go, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get this out without tearing it. Oh, that was very sticky. Let's put that to one side. It's really nice. I do like these five pound coins. I've always been quite a big fan of James Bond. Well, so, yeah, a bit of information on the back. But let's start from the beginning. Let's, so let's have a look at the obverse of the coin. Yeah, really nice. As per usual, 2020. And we've got Queen Elizabeth just there. So let's have a look. So, A Brave New World. For more than five decades, Bond films have given us a glimpse of a future we only dreamed was possible. Some of the information is good. Pierce Brosnan. Personally, he is my favourite James Bond. I'll never forget GoldenEye. And I'll never forget the video game that went with it either. The amount of time that I skived off school playing that game was incredible. But please pause the video at any time if you want to have a full read of any of this information. It's called The Future. So whilst James Bond comes face to face with villainous adversaries to protect the United Kingdom and the world, he has a team of highly skilled innovators working to assist him behind the scenes at MI6. With each mission comes certain danger, but it's often thanks to the resources of Q Branch that Bond comes out of each fight alive. And of course, one of many gadgets from, uh, yep, yeah, you only live twice. Now, I think this is, I forgot what it's called, was it Little Nelly or something like that? Tiny little uh, micro glider, of course, filled with so many different sorts of weapons. Really, really cool. The tools of espionage. In the early movies, Bond was equipped with only the basic tools of a secret agent. We've got the jet, jet pack from Thunderball just there. And of course, as, as I'm just filming this, you know, we did sadly lose um, Sean Connery not so long ago. Died at the age of 90, so uh, yeah, God rest his soul. He had a good innings, but he will always be remembered as the first ever James Bond. And Desmond Llewellyn as Q. Again, another famous James Bond uh, character. Sadly passed away quite a few years ago now, actually. If I hadn't been for Q Ranch, he would have been dead long ago. There was some more information just there. Desmond Lewin and his Q stands back as the grenade pen shows that the pen is mightier than the sword. And that's from Goldeneye, of course. Some really cool pictures and some fantastic information. So let's flip it round to the other side. <laughs> Wet Nelly. A jet set an agent. Bond has pr uh, proven himself very adaptable when needed. 
driving a number of vehicles ranging from a Citroen 2CV to a Rootmaster bus. Well, yeah, the car driven into the sea by 007 to escape a pursuing helicopter. Yeah, reference to Little Nelly, that's the one, an auto driver. I was nearly there. And the submarine car from The Spy Who Loved Me, a very iconic uh, bit of cinema just there. Uh, to film the sequence, seven shells were used to capture the various stages of Wet Nelly's transition from car to submarine. That's brilliant. And there's the designers uh, of the coin just there. Designers are Christian Davis and Matt Dent. And some more information on the back just there. Now this is really cool. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic little pack. And we'll, we'll shove you back in there just before I do any more damage. Yeah, how cool is that? Another really nice design. Design? Get the words out, Matt. A really nice design. Uh, the second coin in the James Bond series. So let's whack you down there. Okay, so as usual, if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And of course, leave me a comment in the box below if you have got this uh, coin set. And let me know exactly what you think of it. Of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. And of course, uh, if you press that notification bell, you will always be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, that's it really. So a big thank you again for watching. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. I hope all this COVID business isn't affecting you too much. Of course, we are about, to, well, England anyway, is about to go into a second lockdown. So yeah, that's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, unless you live in Scotland. But that's it for now, guys. Um, until the uh, third and final James Bond coin comes out, um, the review on that will uh, follow very shortly. But of course, as for now, thank you very much for watching. And uh, of course, always remember, there's always two sides to every coin. If you take the time to look. Thank you.